What's up guys, Arn our Horror Hunter, right back at you again. Another video. This is going to be a response to a tag that I got from the new tag game from Horror Fanatic 78, aka Adam. Uh, yeah. Great YouTuber. I probably mentioned him in my shoutouts thing. But, uh, if I didn't, just in case, go sub him, guys. I also want to mention before I really get into it, uh, I forgot to give a shout out to Horror Collectible Guy, who has been a huge influence on me and a huge, uh, con um, not contributor, but a huge oh, viewer of my channel, watches every single one of my videos, um, you know, always comments, always likes, well, yeah, I think almost like, almost always likes, but always comments, uh, always watches them, you know, just great guy, a great guy. Uh, all over. So go sub him. He's awesome. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get on with it. This is a Halloween tag. It's a little bit early for Halloween, but who cares? It's always Halloween in the horror community on YouTube. So, uh, movie to watch on Halloween. What's my favorite movie to watch on Halloween? Now, Adam said his favorite is The Fog. He does a double feature with Halloween and The Fog. I do just Halloween, usually. Uh, in preparation for Halloween, I do uh, watch at least all of the uh, Halloween movies that I have, that is. Uh, and then after that, of course, I'll watch the original again on Halloween. Plus, I'll have a huge horror movie marathon before, you know. So, there you go, Halloween. It's a great film. You know, don't really have to say anything about it. Uh, number two, what's my favorite Halloween costume? Probably gonna go, have to go with my Freddy Krueger costume that I made a couple years back. You know, self-made stuff. Made my own sweater with uh, some green spray paint and an old cheap uh, sweater. Old, you know, fedora, cheap. Uh, got this claw which is really cool that's really the thing that uh i spent the most money on the claw and then i got some makeup and you know did my own thing so i wasn't part of the mainstream and getting all that regular freddy krueger stuff yeah punk rock not really i'm not into punk rock it's my ted nugent hat here no punk rock hard rock anyway uh number three least favorite halloween costume Probably gonna have to go with this pirate costume that I had when I was a kid. Yeah, it just got itchy, uh, you know. And by the end of the night, I hardly looked like a pirate, so, you know. Number four, what did you dress up for la uh What did you dress up as last year? Couldn't speak. But I dressed up as Alice Cooper last year, and that's probably my second favorite costume that I ever did. Um, you know... I got some, you know, makeup and did the whole Alice Cooper thing, uh, you know, lines, eyeshadow stuff, uh, top hat, wig, um, you know, uh, really, really tight leather jacket, but it was cool. It was pretty awesome. Loved it. Everybody else loved it, too. Uh, number six. Uh, no, number five. What do you plan on dressing up as this Halloween? I'm going to have to go with probably Ghostface or Hannibal. You know, uh, you know, just regular old Halloween staples. I'm not all that creative but when it comes to Halloween costumes, but, you know, never dressed up as them, so I kind of want to. Uh, number six. Now we're getting to number six. Do you decorate for Halloween? Not really. Uh... I mean, we live out in the country. We don't really get any trick-or-treaters. And it's creepy enough around here as it is uh, during the fall. It's nice and creepy-looking, creepy old barn out front. You know, nice stuff. So not really. Um, number seven, favorite candy to eat on Halloween? Probably uh, the candy cigarettes. You know, they come in the little Marvel superhero boxes. And, uh, oh man, they taste like heaven, but... Uh, I was never interested in real smoking or anything, you know, I've never smoked, don't plan on it, so, uh, yeah, nasty habit, try to keep away from it, but candy cigarettes, delicious stuff, and by the way, if you can't hear me all that good on here, it's probably because I have 
two windows open and people are riding four wheelers and stuff outside so uh I'll check the uh I'll check the audio and if it's uh if it's good then I'll put it up if it's not well you'll probably be seeing a, another tape a different taping uh number 8 how old were you when you stopped trick or treating probably about 13 you know just about the regular age for everybody number 9 what is your favorite halloween memory probably either trick or treating with my parents or just halloween parties probably this halloween party i had at my aunt's house uh my uh granny dressed up as one of those in one of those cheap uh skeleton costumes you know glow in the dark stuff you know but it was a great memory i just remember her dressing up like that uh number 10 what is the scariest thing to happen to you on halloween uh, we had a hayride breakdown. We were going through this, uh, well, I live out in the country, and uh, we went way back on this little backcountry road called Babylon. Don't really know if it, it's Babylon or Babylon, because there is, you know, a creek down there, but either way, it's called Babylon. Uh, so we go down there, and it breaks down. We don't, I don't know what happened to it. I think a tire blew on it. Maybe the axle messed up. I'm not really sure. But, you know, went out there uh, and it broke down. And the scary thing is, I mean, we finally got out. But the really scary thing is, it was dark and, uh, you know, we're out in the woods. I'm a country boy, not really scared of being out in the woods in the dark. But this just kind of felt creepy on, like, really near Halloween night. And I could swear I saw eyes out there. Then a couple years later, somebody was murdered and dumped out there. Uh, so that just kind of, <laughs> it, it adds to the creepiness. So uh, that's really the scariest thing that's ever happened to me. Never really had anything that scary happen on Halloween to me. I've been pretty fortunate when it comes to that. Uh, number 11, do I believe in ghosts? Eh, um, I'm fascinated with them. Uh, here's a Kentucky Ghost Stories book. Um... I still haven't read it, but I'll be getting to that maybe sometime this summer. But yeah, it'll be uh it'll probably be good. Uh, it's not that I don't believe in them 100%, but you know, I'm not sure if I believe them. So, it's just an eh. I hope that answers the question okay, Adam. Uh next, 12. Do you go to haunted attractions? Kind of. Uh I go to every, go to them every once in a while. We made our own one one time over uh on this side of the house we've got this corral that we don't use in the fall and uh you know made a kind of haunted walk through with it and it was pretty successful uh just for family members and stuff they said they loved it so yeah uh 13 vampires werewolves or zombies i'm gonna have to go with probably vampires or zombies on this one werewolves i'm not even really that interested but i agree with adam when he says we kind of need to stop i mean cool it on the zombie movies not stop them completely but cool it down a little bit maybe i could go a year without a zombie movie you know but uh cool it down on the zombie movies and make vampires and werewolves scary and manly again gosh they become so they become sexy and uh you know just sparkly I would go so far as to say the vampires seem gay, okay? Um, yes, Dracula was meant to be bisexual, but that was to add to his evil from Bram Stoker's point of view. Uh, and, uh, you know, to be completely honest, I mean, you should just go right back to the good old days when it came to vampire movies. Salem's Lot, Dracula, um... Nosferatu, the scary ones, you know, not this Twilight crap. And werewolves, come on, go back to Lon Chaney, you know, uh, Lon Chaney in The Wolfman and, uh, you know, uh, The Howling, American Werewolf in London, yeah. I wanted to add my own question to it, and this question is tell a scary story to pass on to others for Halloween. Uh, so here's my question to add. Uh, just add yourself a story on it at the end. Another story, it it can be scary, it can be funny. This is going to be kind of kind of funny because it's an old hick kind of story. But uh, 
my uncle, uh, my great uncle, was walking through the woods one time, and there was this legend going around that there was a ghost chicken that haunted the place. I swear, I can't make this up. Uh, so he hears a tree fall behind him, looks back, can't see a tree falling, looks to the front, and there's this blue, this ghostly blue chicken in front of him, starts running at him, so he runs, he runs away, runs home, tells the story, you know, nobody believes him, nobody can find anything in the morning or anything. Yeah, so that's my little short story there. <laughs> yeah, stupid little hick story, but anyway, there's my video, guys. I'm going to tag three people, uh, Mr. Darklight98, um, Horror Reviewer 21 I just subscribed to him, and I, I like his uh, videos, so I want to kind of see him do this. And also, I want to tag Drunken Steve, because he's hilarious, and I want to see what he'll do with it. So, uh, rock on, guys. If you like, subscribe. Hope you like the video. See you later.